We have a big breaking news right on the back of a break. This is the NCPCR taking big action. A letter has been written by the NCPCR's chief Priyank Kanungo to all states and union territories. And it has three big recommendations. The first recommendation is that all states and union territories immediately stop funding madrasas. The second is that all madrasa boards be closed down. And the third is that all non-Muslim children be taken out of madrasas. This is consequent to the NCPCR publishing a report which is titled Guardians of Faith or Oppressors of Rights, Constitutional Rights of Children versus Madrasas. A copy of this report has been sent to all of the states and union territories. Mohit Bhatt joins us now. Mohit Bhatt, a big action by the NCPCR, a, a very crucial set of recommendations on uh, madrasas. Tell us more about this. Well, yes, Ankit, uh, it's, it's a big development that has come in. We have seen that how NCPCR earlier also have been asking various state governments to take action on madrasas because they basically NCPCR says that uh, there has been a violation of the rights of children in the madrasas. And perhaps this is the first time that NCPCR has written to all the chief secretaries and administrators of uh, uh, the union territory and all the states of the country, asking them to stop the funding to all the madrasas and Madrasa board. This is a very, very big development because NCPCR is a premier child right body in the country and they have also published a report as you were uh, rightly pointing out. Now, this particular report consists of 11 chapters mentioning the history of Madrasas and their role in violation of educational rights of children. So clearly, NCPCR has recommended that the funding to all these Madrasas should be stopped because they, uh, it says that there is a conflicting picture between fundamental right of children and right of minority community has been created. Now, uh, we have to wait and watch how exactly will the opposition parties and specifically various Muslim organizations will react to it. Because, uh, Pankit, if you remember, we have seen that how uh, NCPCR has been saying this, that a Right to Education Act uh, provides for the basic elementary education for, the, for all the children, but that is not being given when they are enrolled into the madrasa. So this issue, they have been raising it for a long time. And in this particular report also, they have given... Uh, uh, the reference to RTE Act 2009, they basically say that there has been right. the violation of the children who are going to madrasa for studies, and this goes against the principle of RTE Act 2009. So we well, have to wait you and know, watch uh, how will... We will be reading this letter out, viewers. We've accessed this letter. We'll also be putting the information that Mohit is talking about on graphic plates for you, because this is a very crucial input by the NCPCR. We are also going to be going through the report in general and uh, checking what it is that the NCPCR has 